All right, this is Daryl Mart with ApexInvesting.com, and today I'm coming to you with the topic of circuit breakers, something we haven't had to deal with on a consistent basis since the financial crisis of 2008. There was a brief 5% circuit breaker for 30 minutes back when Trump was elected. After 30 minutes, the market resumed. Everything was fine. This is like 2008 financial crisis times. So... Let's get it started, and first I want to point out what people sound like when they decide to trade while circuit breakers are happening. So again, this is Daryl Martin with ApexInvesting.com, and don't be one of these people. Sell, 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 sell. House of Pleasure. The House of Pain. The House of Pain. The House of Pain. Sell, sell, sell. All right. Don't get your head chopped off. Last night, what we had was the market went down 5%. 5% up or down is the circuit breaker during the evening session from 6 p.m. to 9.30 a.m., okay? That is the time you don't want to be trading right around that. Here's what's going to happen, though. It's a little bit different at night than it is during the day. As you can see, I plotted this big red line where the 5% circuit breaker was located, and the market would come down to that. It'll stop. It won't keep ticking lower, but it can tick higher. It doesn't shut down. It can tick back higher. Now, as you notice, that happened multiple times last night. It came down, it stopped, people bid it up, it went on back up. Came down, stopped, people bid it up, went back up. But then it didn't come back up. And if you were stuck in it, okay, then it literally dropped 50 points. And then within seconds, another 50 points. And then it hit the 7% circuit breaker. So let's look at what those circuit breakers are. If I can uh, bring up my notepad here. So give me one second. We'll bring that up. Move these charts out of the way. All right, so what we got, and you know what? To make this a little more visible, let me throw this in Word. It might make it a lot easier to read. And I want you, because I just want you to really understand this, because this is one of those, if you had, didn't live through the last financial crisis, or not live, but trade, <laughs> you may not have lived through it either, but if you didn't trade through the last financial crisis, then you know, you just don't know. So, um, I I cut my teeth on the last financial crisis. That's where I was, went to full time day trading. I decided to do it in a uh, you know fun period, and so this is my wheelhouse. I love this stuff, but um, in the sense of I like trading. That's why I like trading fast markets. But if you go to cmegroup.com forward slash trading forward slash price limits dot html, price dash limits dot html, then you can go and see what the price limits are for the 5% move every day, okay? There's also an FAQ page, I'll list that under the video, that you can check out as well, okay? So those two links right there um, that have FAQs on them for you, and... Then we got the circuit breakers. So uh, what happened was we had ES, NQ, YM, and RTY all hit their circuit breakers. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the commodities because they're a little bit different on how they work. We're going to focus on the indices. And the limit prices were 27.9850, which was hit on ES. It was 80.9325, which you saw on that chart. On NASDAQ, 24,534. And 13.76.10 until 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. After 9.30 until 5, there's a 7%, an 11%, and a 
Um, 20% gap move. That can happen. All right. Or not gap move, but circuit breaker. So I've actually lifted those prices right here for you. They're also lifted on the CME's price limit page. You may have to go through several pages to get, <coughs> to get there. And you need to make sure you're looking at the right contract. Some of you are and some of you are not aware of how to find that. So let's take a look at that page. And these are levels that you can mark on your chart. And they will change each day because these limit moves are based on they are based on settlement, okay? So they're gonna change each day. So let's pull them on up and let's check them out. So over here, we go down, we got equity limits, all right? And we're looking for the S&P 500 the E-mini S&P 500, not the spoos, not the full-size contract. These are the micros. So if you trade micros, you can check out like micro NASDAQ futures. Okay. But what month do you choose? This isn't in your normal like January, February, March, April. Well, if you hop on over and you can just type in apexinvesting.com and then put month, future month codes. And Google and it'll pull it right up for you on our website okay and on that page I list out what the you know legend is for the future month codes we're trading March right now and we're in the year 2020 so it's zero but uh, H is for March we're about to be flipping over pretty soon to June which is going to be M okay but right now we're on H so you're going to be looking for the MNQ, if you're trading micros, MNQ H0. And what you're going to find is the 5% up and down move. If you go to the top of this legend right here, just scroll way back up. 5% up and down move overnight, 7% down, 13% down, 20% down. So if we go back down to MNQ H0, here's your 5% up and 5% down move right here. Here's your 7% down move. Here's your 11% down move. And by the way, when they list the zeros, that's like 7922.75. 7411.00. They just don't put the decimals in there. 6813.75. Okay? So you could mark these levels on your charts. And if you want to go down, let's find some other contracts. You just go to the next page, okay? So here we go. E mini S and P five hundred futures. We don't want the Z contract. We want the we don't want the U. We don't want the M yet, okay? We want the H, the H zero contract, okay? We will want the M zero here when we roll over here. I think later this week, but H zero. So three eleven six up twenty eight. 19 down, okay, 27.59, 50 is a 7% down. We did hit that on the open this morning. Market froze for 15 minutes. We got a 25.81.50 and 23.73.50. And you can keep scrolling down. You can find each one of them, such as if you're looking for the NASDAQ 100. Well, there you go, NASDAQ 100 H0. There's the 5% up and down, the 7% down, which it'll close for 15 minutes during the day. 15 minutes when it hits 11% down, and it'll close for the entire day when it hits the 20% mark, unless it's in the last 15 minutes of the day, and then it's just free fall. Okay? So they don't touch it after 4 o'clock. Um, so they just let it go. And you can go down, you can find your other, you can find your Dow, you can find, you know, just all sorts of different markets on here. But you need to be aware, you need to be very aware of what those levels are, okay? So, let's hop back over. To this page. 
Let's say we're looking at NASDAQ. The next level down, 79.22.75. So what I can do is I can then grab my NASDAQ chart. So give me one second. And I'll pull it up. I got a lot of them, so I got to make sure I'm grabbing the right one for you. Here we go. with that NASDAQ chart, then I'd go, okay, well, the next level, 79.22.75. Okay. So we're going to go down here to 79.22.75. And I could even take this, like I made this big red line last night. As you can tell, I mean, it just opened up and just busted through it, and they put the circuit breaker on. But again, 79, 22, 75, and then after that, we got 74, 11. So I can hit the control key on my keyboard if I'm using Ninja, and I can slide it up. 74... 11 Whatever, that's close enough. And then 6613. Now that's pretty far down. And I want to make sure these levels are ones that I know what they are, so I don't mistake them as a other type of important levels. But 66, 13, 75. And one thing I want to do is I will want to double check the site on CME and make sure I have the right levels and nothing's been updated or changed. Uh, one thing that actually happened live whenever I was uh, trading the flash crash, they changed the circuit breaker limits live. Literally, they moved them down. They saw where all the limit orders stopped, and they moved the circuit breakers live during the market. Never seen it happen before, but they actually moved the circuit breakers. Okay? And they have the right to adjust them on the fly if they want to. So, which is sort of freaky. Um, something else you need to be aware of is... You won't be able to get out when this happens. When they shut it down, they on the indices, they shut down every single market now. They've changed some of the rules. They shut down every month. They don't just shut down one month now. Now they shut down every month. Okay? And you can, like, all of them. So it used to be you could flip over to the next month and you could put something on. Okay? Now, what are your choices when you're trading like this? Okay, one, don't trade. That's a simple one. Take a holiday. Okay. There's a lot of money to be made during this time. But, you know, just to show you, bring this over. And this is our charts that we trade with right here, which have been, you know, fantastic for us. We've been doing very well. If you want to learn how we trade, check out apexinvesting.com forward slash boot camp. Get a free month. Second month is a dollar. So, uh, full access to trade room, trading tools, everything. But you'll see a lot of low numbers printing above these bars. That's not net volume. That's called volume score. And we had a whole lot of low numbers right when it first opened back up. It was just shooting literally with zeros everywhere. And then it went down to fours, which we would still consider to be a very low number. But that was after it opened back up. But, I mean, it was firing all over the place. And notice how it kept coming back up to that other area where we were shut down last night. But just to give you a little bit of, you know, view, I mean, this thing was moving with no volume, just flying everywhere. Very fast. I mean, these bars are basically from open to, or from close to close are five ticks. From open to close are ten ticks. 
So every time a new bar forms, that's five ticks. I mean, you're talking this whole page is less than one minute of movement. And that is, you know, 40 something points. So do you see all these zeros where it's flying down? I'm just trying to show you without explaining all the charts to you that it's moving very, very fast, very erratically, very difficult to trade. And you can expect to have very wide bid offer spreads. Okay. Um, which means it's going to hurt. Um, when it happens now, they will come back together and things will usually calm down. That's part of the point of a circuit breaker is to get people's heads back on straight. So, um, you know, if they calm back down, then, you know, things improve a little bit. And let me see here. Let's look at. This one second. By the way, Nadex will also usually close and coincide with the exchanges, though it may not close at the same time. So if you're trading touch brackets on Nadex, those contracts can actually keep moving in the price. So which can make that, of course, very dangerous for you because you could get touched out if you were trading a Nadex contract. Um, but let's go over here. Well, I was going to try to show it, but that's not going to be the best way to show it. So... What you are going to notice is really wide bid offer spreads. Let's go ahead and let's dive into the DOM a little bit on this. And the DOM is the depth of market, which is one of the most valuable tools that amazes me that so many traders don't take advantage of it. If you type in YouTube Apex Investing DOM, You'll find the training I provide on this and shows how absolutely valuable it is. Tips, tricks, and mistakes on the DOM. One of the most valuable videos you can watch. Uh, but check out how our bid offer spreads, instead of being like a tick or two wide, right now are, you know, two points wide, three points wide. And you're seeing like one, two, one, 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 two, one contract. So we're seeing a lot of obviously erratic behavior. I've even seen like four, five point wide bid offer spreads. So, which means you could be down like 80 bucks a contract the second you get in. Your ability to get out can be severely limited. Okay? And this is something you can't see looking at a chart. Again, this is something you can't see looking at a chart. And uh, so, if you don't know about the DOM, you know, make sure and hop over. Again, I'll pull up the uh, video. Sure, I keep wanting to take over. So, youtube.com forward slash apex investing. We have tons of great material on there forward slash DOM. And it ought to be the first video how to use a DOM in Ninja. Tips, tricks, and mistakes to avoid. So that video right there is going to be one of your most valuable things. One, you can trade faster with it. Two, you can see things that other traders can't see, such as those bid offers and extreme light liquidity. So you need to have the DOM up. Even if you have the stat, the dynamic DOM, which is free, um, I, you can pull up DOMs on Thinkorswim as well. So if you have a Thinkorswim account that has live futures, so, or if you have another, you know, maybe use some other account. We use Ninja Brokerage as our main brokerage. I don't like having POS open on the same computer because it uses so much memory resources. But, um, I, you know, I have it open on like a side computer. But anyway, so, you know, and I also have an unlimited DOM I get as well with Rhythmic Data. So, and I'll be teaching about that here in a couple weeks, uh, less than a couple weeks coming up. So, but you can see, I mean, look at how wide the bid offer spread is. Look at how thin the liquidity is. So even if the chart looks pretty, it doesn't necessarily mean you want to be trading on it. Okay. So this is one of those things where hop over to SIM and trade it in SIM. 
Okay, you don't just have to sit back and watch. You know, I've traded through the flash clash. I've traded through the financial crisis. I've traded through presidential election cycles. You're going to have all those same stories if you don't have them and more already. Okay? So just learn to watch. See what happens. Put stuff on. I showed an example of what happened if you threw a contract on in a demo account and watched it like just blow up uh, for our traders in our trade room just to drive home the point. That was the first thing I posted this morning. I'm like, don't do this and here's why. And that woke everybody up pretty good. Um, but, you know, I just got up and stopped trading last night. So, um, and I, I took advantage of a few things. I did some advanced plays. Uh, trading off of those limit prices where you go in and you put a stop just above it and you do a low risk bounce and when it finally does take off you grab it and you know you can grab a whole bunch of money and you have a stop right behind it with a very small risk but you know that's really advanced playing and if you're doing that with live money you better be very careful um, or you can get demolished so you better know that you can handle the risk of what you're taking on and what those risks are but Hopefully, you know, understanding where to go find those limits, like I stated, um, I posted them up for you there at the beginning, and I'll post them again with this video, but, you know, those are the limits for just those days. You need to go in and look at that page every day, the CME list, what the limits are, mark them on your charts. When we're having these big down moves, you need to be aware, okay? Um. Anytime you exceed a 3% move, you need to be aware. All right? Because then you're going to have 5, 7, 11, 20. So if you're ever down more than 3%, if you're wondering if you're down more than 3%, be aware. Okay? So, anyways, again, this is Daryl Martin with ApexInvesting.com. Trying to bring you some tips, tricks, ways to handle this. And uh, if you want to find out more, hop over to our website, apexinvesting.bootcamp. Get free access to our tools, our training, and our trade room for free for 30 days. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have inside the trade room. And good luck trading, and be careful. I have made a fortune in the last few weeks, and I know people have lost a fortune. And uh, we talked about being the sniper, not the target. If you're not the sniper, you are the target. So if you're sick of being the target, hop it over to our website so we can help you out. Thank you very much. So when limit moves are being hit on the indices, what are other things that can be traded? You got the sixes. Okay. Currencies. Do currencies have limit moves? Do they have circuit breakers? The answer is no. There are no circuit breakers on currencies. So you don't have to worry about circuit breakers on currencies, on Forex. So as a futures trader, you can trade 6A, 6B, 6C, 6S, 6, you know, E, 6Z, or N, I mean. Um, so other markets you can trade. Gold, soybeans, oil. So there are plenty of markets you can trade. Not people are like, well, I'm not familiar with gold or forex or this. I mean, you need to be familiar with what the tick size is worth. But, you know, you don't need to be... Like, it's just a symbol in the top left of the chart. The number moves up and down. That's it. Okay? So, you can be bringing up your sixes and not have to worry about limits. You can hop over to gold and oil, which are ticking right along. Uh, we have a trader this morning who just said uh, Jeff just got his 3-0 and in gold this morning. So, and he's got 4-1 and trading uh, 6 e which is the euro dollar. So, we've already had traders, you know, taking advantage of gold and currencies. So, you're not out, okay? Don't feel like I can't trade today. You can sim trade. Um, just go ahead and hop over and check out markets you maybe haven't traded before. Because, again, at the end of the day... It's just a chart. Who cares what the symbol is in the top left? It has numbers on the right, a chart in the middle, and it moves up and down. Okay? So, I mean, that's all you need to be aware of. But again, you know, we're here to help you out. Okay? So, might want to go ahead and bring up like 6E. 6B is one of my favorites. I love 6N. New Zealand dollar is really volatile. 
Um, so those are some ones that you could definitely check out if you're looking for some market to trade while the indices are extremely light liquidity, very high bid offer, and hitting their limits. Okay?